What is going on, Dino Hunters? My name is Mind Melt, and today we are back playing a little bit of Ark Survival Evolved. We're on the Melted Cheese modded Ragnarok server. Oh, yeah. And today, what I thought we would get into is I wanted to kind of go through and look at all the different soups in Ark and what they do. Um, so we're going to be able to, we're going to go through and cover all the different soups that you can make uh, in the cooking pot or the industrial cooker, what you're going to need for those and what the effects are and what they'll do for you. All right. So I hope everybody likes the video. If you do, don't forget to smash the like button for me, smash the like button for me. Like I said, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, guys, let's get into it. Oh yeah. Okay guys, the first thing up is the Enduro Stew. Um, so we're going to come over here. I'm going to use the cooking pot for this one. We are using the S plus cooking pot. You don't have to um, have an S plus cooking pot. And we are also using an industrial cooker. And I really like the industrial cooker. You can see here where it says that it's irrigated. So you can hook up water to these things. And you can also hide the pipes with these uh, S plus ones, but you do not need the S plus ones. The also the other thing is that you cannot unlock the industrial cooker to like level 89. So, so keep that in mind. You'll probably have to just uh, resort to the cooking pot for now um, if you're not quite that level yet. So let's see, what do we need? We need to go over here to the fridge. We need a water skin with at least 25 percent water in it we need 10 mejo berries five and a 10. we need five carrots and we want five sava roots nine cooked meats let me just grab 10 cooked meat here and then we also want to grab a stimulant um we are using thatch as the fuel source in here because thatch does not produce charcoal Charcoal can throw off certain um, certain recipes and cause you to get something completely different than what you're expecting. So let's go ahead and light the fire, sit back, and we'll wait for our Enduro stew to cook up. Okay, so we're back and we have the Enduro stew. Uh, let's go ahead and read the description. This hearty dish is like a workout in the form of a meal. Consume it to deal increased melee damage and gain extra stamina region. Effects last 15 minutes. Um, and also, from what I know, even though the description doesn't have it, it has a uh, slow like region um, for, I'm sorry, for health. 1.2% health per second. So you're going to kind of get health over time. You're going to get 35% uh, melee damage. And then you're also going to get increased uh, stamina region. So that's pretty nice. I'm going to kick this stew back in here. We're going to grab another water skin. The next one is Focal Chili. Uh, Focal Chili will give you 25% movement speed and 100% crafting skill in your personal inventory. If you go to the Smithy or the Fabricator or any of those other like things that you craft in, you can't really get any boost from that. You have to do it in your inventory. So, um, you know, if you're going to be crafting up a lot of stuff, you might think about making a Focal Chili. And this is how you do it. Uh, you want to grab one water skin, which I grabbed there. Uh, we're going to get 10 mayo berries, 5 and a 10. We're going to get 20 amar berries. Okay. We're going to get 20 of the azul berries. We're going to get 20 tento berries, uh, 5 citronal, and then 9 of the cooked meat. All right. We have our water skin. We have our ingredients. It should be everything. Let's go ahead and kick it back into this. Now, when you're trying to make these stews, keep in mind that it does take a, a, like a minute for it to cook. It's not instantaneous. Um, we're going to try the next one in the industrial cooker, and we'll see um, how much of a difference there is for the time that it takes to prepare. But like, you'll be like sitting here like, um, am I doing this right? Do I have everything I need? Just double check your uh, recipe, make sure you got everything that you need in there and just sit back and relax and it will make the stew over time. I call it stew, but it's really chilly, but you know, whatever. This filling dish is full of nutritional energy. Consume it to gain increased craft speed and gain increased movement speed. Alas, uh, effects last 15 minutes. So I'm going to take that, we're going to grab that and throw that into our fridge. 
Okay, guys, the next one up is Lazarus Chowder. That will give you 85% oxygen consumption underwater, negative 85%, sorry, and then plus 1.2% stamina per second, which allows you to be constantly swimming. And that's really, uh, that's really nice. So what we need is we are going to need, we're going to need 10 Mayho Berries. Let's grab 10 Mayho Berries. We are going to need five long grass, five savroot, two narcotics, and nine cooked meat. All right, there is the Lazarus Chowder, and this is a creamy dish that improves the body's natural constitution. Consume it to slow your rate of oxygen consumption while underwater and gain extra health regen. Uh, I think that it means stamina regen, and the description is just a little off because you will see later in the video where uh, we're able to swim and it keeps your stamina pretty much full. Goes down a little bit, but not uh, not as fast as it normally would. Um, and I don't think it really affects the health. But there is the Lazarus Chowder. Oh yeah. Okay, next up is the Kalian Soup. We want a water skin if you're using the cooking pot. Um, we're going to need 10 Mayho Berries, uh, 20 Tento Berries, 5 Citronel. Kalian soup is really good if you're in a hot area, like a hot cave or the volcano or something like that. Okay, we accidentally made an energy brew because I didn't have the stimulants in there. So let me just double check. Kalian soup, we want uh, 10 mayho berries. We got that. 20 of the amar berries. Let's go ahead and do that. 20 of the amar berries. 20 tentos. Let me just make sure I have those. And then the two stimulants. So we have, okay, we already have the Tentos. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. Let's see if we if we uh, turn this on now. There it is, there's our Kalian soup. Kalian soup is this simple vegetarian dish refer, refreshes your body like an oasis. Consume it to uh, gain increased hypothermic insulation and slow your rate of water consumption. Effects last 15 minutes. So yeah, if you're really gonna be in a hot area, take some Kalian soup with you. Take, uh, take a few of them because it only lasts 15 minutes. Okay, the next one that we're going to make is the Freya Curry. Uh, Freya Curry, you want a water skin if you're making it in the cooking pot. Make sure it has 25% once again. Okay, I'll stop saying that after this one here. Um, and we want 10 mejo berries, 5 and a 10. We want 20 azul berries, 5, 10, 15, 20. 5 long grass. We want five carrots. And we need two narcotics. So let's pop that in there. And two of those. And let's see if we can create a Freya curry here. Come on, Freya curry. There it is. This spicy vegetarian dish fills the body with uh, comfortable warmth. Consume it to gain increased hypothermic insulation and slow your rate of food consumption. Effects last 15 minutes. So basically you get plus uh, 50 to hypothermic insulation and you get 25% uh, uh, minus 25% food consumption. So if you're going to be in a really cold area, you want to bring Freya curry with you. So if you're going to be in the... The murder snow on Ragnarok or the really cold area on the island or just like, you know, a cave that's really cold. Make sure you take some of that. If you're going to be really hot, then you want the, uh, you want the Kalian soup. Okay, the next one is a shadow steak saute. Um, the ones before were kind of the basic ones. These ones are a little bit more, a little bit more advanced, but not really. Um, you're going to get a boost to hypothermic insulation and night vision. You're going to get uh, another boost to hypothermic insulation and then minus 80% weapon recoil, which is actually pretty cool. So let's um, go ahead and see how we make this. We're going to need um, 20 of the mayo berries. One, two, three, four. And then we need two mushrooms mushroom mushroom uh we need a carrot we need a seven root we need eight narcotics which we have those and we also need some cooked prime meat we want three of those 
disable auto crafting here. And then we want five, six, seven, eight of those. And then let's turn this on, see if we can get some shadow steak saute. There it is. This dish grants you clarity of the night. Consume it to see more light and ignore most weather and steady your aim. Can be dangerous to use in daylight. Elect, uh, effects last three minutes. So be careful with this one. It can actually kind of make it look uh, kind of blinding during the day. Okay, the next one up is Battle Tartar. That's going to give you a boost to melee damage, a boost to uh, damage resistance, 50% movement speed, 50% food and water consumption, and uh, increased stamina region. And you're going to get negative uh, 0.45 health per second for a drop of 90 HP total over the time that it consumes. So you're going to have... A bunch of boosts, but there's a couple of uh, debuffs as well. This is how you make the, ba the battle tartar. You want mayho berries. Let's do 20 mayho berries. Two rare flowers. We want three uh, prime meat, raw prime meat. One citronel. One long grass. And then eight stimulants. Turn this on and see if we can get the battle tartar. And there it is. This dish grants you almost combat prowess of a berserker. Co consume it to gain massively increased melee damage, move speed, damage resistance, and stamina region. Also causes you to consume food and water more quickly and lose health. Effects last three minutes. So keep that in mind. There are buffs, but there's also debuffs uh, with the battle tartar as well. Okay, next I want to show you how to make the broth of enlightenment this one is a little more advanced it uh actually requires a few more materials that you wouldn't have just basically starting out um you're gonna need both woolly rhino horns and a black pearl for this one um here's the recipe we want 10 mayo berries two citronel two long grass two carrots two potatoes five woolly rhino horns so you can kill those uh, woolly rhinos and get those horns. And then you also need a black pearl. Um, an otter can get a black pearl for you. So those are pretty easy to tame. Um, you know, in the water, you can tame an otter. And they can um, go fish for black pearls for you if you want to make. The uh, Broth of Enlightenment is going to give you 50% increased experience gain. So let's pop this in there. And there we go. There's our Broth of Enlightenment. A single sip of this incredible broth will expand your mind and broaden your horizons, greatly uh, gaining, granting greatly increased experience gain for a brief time. Awesome. The other one that we can make here is the Mind Wipe Tonic, and you can use that to basically to reset all of your points that you've put in here. So um, my character is level 102. I would get 102 points back. And I can put those into something else. If you want to basically respec your character, you can go ahead and do that. You will also have to relearn all of your Ingrams. So everything that you have learned, you're going to have to learn it again. Um, but it's sometimes worth it if you want the respec. This is how you make the Mind Wipe Tonic. Uh, you're going to need a whole lot of Mayho Berries. You need, <laughs> you need, you need 200 here. So we've got uh, over 200 mayho berries, and then you need 20 uh, rare mushrooms. So we want 5, 10, 15, 20. And if you don't know, if you hold down shift on PC, you can transfer five at a time. And if you hold down control, you can transfer one at a time. So like there's one prime meat. And then I just double click it to actually transfer. Um, so we got, we want 20 rare flowers. We need 72 narcotics, 72 stimulants, and 24 of the cooked prime meat. Let's go ahead and just get 25 of those bad boys. Okay, we already have the narcotics. So let's um, go over here, disable auto crafting. Put that in, that, that, that. And let's transfer in some narcotics. 
So let's go ahead and enable. See if we get a mind wipe tonic here. All right, there we go. So drink this tonic to forget everything you have learned. Reset your Ingram points can only be used once per newly gained level. So if you have, uh, I forgot about that. If you've maxed out your character, um, you only have one chance to mind wipe. If you uh, are lower than your max level, um, I'm not sure if it's 102 or 103 now. They're giving us bonus levels with the, uh, um, the event stuff that they're doing in preparation for extinction. Oh wait, I'm definitely not at max because I'm only halfway through. So I should be able to mind wipe and then I would uh, be able to mind wipe one more time at max level. Okay guys, uh, for the last one I actually had to jump over to Aberration because this is like an Aberration only one. Um, it's called the Mushroom Brew and it will protect your tame dinos against the effects of radiation, which is really nice. Um, I'm in my single player world here. Um, I didn't have a server set up that I could jump to for Aberration. Okay, so this is how you make the Mushroom Brew. We want to grab five of each one of the mushrooms okay we want five of each one mushrooms and then we want three congealed gas balls and we also need three sap and we're gonna toss that in here let's grab some okay we got a water jar okay and hopefully here in a second we should have a mushroom brew Okay, so the industrial cooker seems to be um, bugged out right now. I'm not sure why, but we should have everything in here. Three of these, three of these, water jar, and then your four different types of mushrooms. We want five of each. Let's go ahead and light the fire. And we have a water jar in here. So let's see, it should make us up our uh, mushroom brew here in just a minute. Okay, it took a minute, but there we go. Our mushroom brew has been cre created. Uh, double, double, toil and trouble, fire, burn, and cauldron bubble. This is a lovely mushroom brew, a healthy syrup to protect your pets from radiation. So that's pretty cool. We'll go ahead and throw that into our fridge over here. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, I am back, and the first thing to do is check out Enduro Stew. It's going to give me enhanced speed. It's going to give me enhanced melee. I'm hitting for 32. I'm not sure what my melee is set to. Oh, he's running. He's running and then and running and then and, and he doesn't want any part of this. All right, I got him knocked out. Uh, female Palma Scorpius level 50. And my melee damage, oh, my melee damage is really high. But it does give you increased melee damage um, and, and increased stamina. So you can see my stamina is, you know what, slowly decreasing over there. And then you can see down in the corner where this lasts for 900 seconds. Get wrecked. See ya, Parasaur. Okay, the next one up is the Focal Chili. Um, and that is going to give you uh, increased craft speed and gain increased movement speed. It affects the last 15 minutes. So let's say I want to craft some um, water jars here. So let's craft one. Okay, that's how long that took. Let's go ahead and drop the focal chili. And we're going to craft the rest of these. Yeah, you can see a little bit. Yeah, you can see a little, little increase there. So if you're looking for um, an increase to making a whole bunch of something that's in your inventory not in a remote inventory like a smithy or a fabricator then go ahead and drop a focal chili last 900 seconds and you can go ahead and craft all the stuff up that you need okay next up is the lazarus chowder um let's go ahead and drop one of these this is basically going to give us the extra oxygen and the stamina and I know that you'd 
not really go in this water because there's nothing really in here besides the Strachosaurus taking a little dip. Um, we also have the clear water mod on here. That's why it looks so clear. But you can see that my oxygen really isn't going down and my stamina is staying full. And that's what this, um, that's what this Lazarus Chowder is really, really good at. Oh, we're getting attacked by something over here. I'm trying to make a, trying to make a video. Okay, next we are over here at the volcano area on Ragnarok. And as you can see, I'm a little hot over there. We also have a mantis coming for us. Let's go ahead and take care of that guy. Now, I do have a lot of fortitude. Uh, my character currently has like 100 because this is like a boosted server. But normally you would be like a, hot, a lot hotter than this. I went ahead and took off my armor um, so that way it wasn't affecting this. But what we want to do is we want uh, Kalian soup. Let's go ahead and consume that. And you can see that the uh, icon for the heat instantly goes away. Now we have 900 seconds of uh, not being basically hot and not draining your water when you're like super overheated. You know what I mean? Ah, get him. Okay, guys, now we are over here in the super cold snow area. I still have my armor off, so that way it doesn't affect it. Um, like I said, I do have a lot of fortitude. We're going to go ahead and drop a Freya Curry. And the Freya Curry is going to uh, reduce your food intake and also help to keep you warm. Probably makes a difference if you uh, actually put your armor on. Maybe not even in this cold area. We are at negative 44 degrees, but this will help um, keep it so you're not uh, dying of hunger in the cold area. Okay guys, we are back at the base. And looking at what we have left, we have Shadow Steak Saute, which we need to do at nighttime. We have the Battle Tartar, which we're about to test out right now. We have the Broth of Enlightenment, uh, which pretty much speaks for itself. I don't think we really need to show off the Broth of Enlightenment. It just gives you XP. As well as the Mind Wipe Tonic, that pretty much speaks for itself as well. It's going to wipe your uh, stats that you currently have and out all the Ingrams that you've learned. And I don't really need to do that. I mean, it's pretty much self-explanatory. So what we're going to do is go ahead and try out this battle tartar. Let's go over here and see if we can find some sort of enemy real quick. Okay, we have a Gigantopithecus, a little level one. Um, but we have the battle tartar in our inventory. So it's going to give us uh, some resistance. It's going to give us a buff to uh, our damage as well as, I think, movement speed. So let's go ahead and give this guy a punch. Okay, so we did 32. Drop the soup. Okay, so it still looks like we're we're doing the same 32% damage. But, it, you know, he might, he might be taking extra and it just for some reason doesn't show it in the overlay. Die, monkey, die. Oh man, he's pushing me all around. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, this is close. Oh, there he goes. All right, we win! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, monkey. Oh, I almost forgot. It is midnight now, and in, as you can see, it's very dark. And I apologize that it doesn't look good for the video. What we're going to do is go ahead and drop that uh, Shadow Steak Saute. And... Have a little look around. It's it's quite a bit brighter. It's like really dark in my um, in my little cave over here because I don't have like a lot of lights and stuff in here. And I should have showed you before. There we go. Look how bright it's getting. Oh, that was weird. Yeah. To get brighter around anything like this. It's, it's definitely a boost, so if you're going to be like in a, de a dark cave, I would suggest bringing some shadow stick, 
to saute. Um, this is really weird. Certain parts of my certain parts of my base over here get really bright. Um, that's very odd. But uh, yeah, it does help because it was like pitch black in here. I should have showed you guys before we went outside. Um, but it was like pitch black in this place. And now you can actually kind of see. It gets really bright over here and I don't really understand why. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more content. And sorry about my pants, but they got broken by the uh, giant ape. All right, guys, we'll see everybody in the next one on Mind Melt Gaming. Oh, yeah.